If you were to ask my friends at home in the States what they think my life here in Switzerland is like, their thoughts would probably be images like this. So, fabulous shots of me spending time in Switzerland. But in reality, as you had a quick preview, my life is actually more like this. And that is because my friends only see what I post on Facebook. And as we all know, everyone's lives are more glamorous on Facebook. And that's because we only share what we want other people to know. But that especially includes when we're having a great time. If I were to open my social networking sites right now, and actually if you were all opening up your Facebook right now, which I hope you don't during my speech, but I think our Facebook feeds would all look about the same. We'd see pictures of kids and pets. We'd see what our friends are doing, what they did last night, even what they're eating. We love to share these kinds of things. And now we have more outlets than ever to do that. These are some of the most popular ones that are out there. There are so many more out there. And both you and I know there will be many, many more to come. In the hospitality industry, when we think about combining social media with our marketing plans, we think, okay, our hotel needs a Facebook page, and now we need a Twitter account. And you'll see many hotels now are doing Instagram accounts as well. And with those outlets, we're uploading photos, we're sharing news about our properties, new properties that are opening up, promotions that we're doing. So essentially what we've done is we've created another arm for advertising. It's free advertising. But advertising is primarily one-way communication. So what we've done is we've taken the social out of social media. When social media is used correctly, it's engaging and it's powerful. But most importantly, it's fun. Some companies have really embraced this and thought about why people get involved in social media in the first place. We do it because it's fun, and we like to share what we're doing and where we're going. Take, for instance, the American Eagle Clothing Company. This is what the billboard for American Eagle in Times Square normally looks like. In 2011, the company ran a campaign where all somebody had to do was walk into the store in Times Square, try on an outfit, and then they could pose in front of a backdrop that was in the store. That photo was then uploaded to the billboard in Times Square. What made this really effective, though, was that the customers had time to go outside and see themselves on a billboard in Times Square. And of course, they could take a picture of it. So you can imagine how far those photos were spread. I'll give you another example. Many of you might be familiar with a show called The Walking Dead. <laughs> if you're not, The Walking Dead is a very popular television show in the United States. Now, I don't watch it, so I know I won't be prepared when the zombie apocalypse comes. <laughs> but what I do know is that in order to generate a buzz for the new season which started last month, the marketing agency for the show created a structure and put it in the Toronto train station. It was a countdown. Every day leading up to the new season, they removed a finger. <laughs> what made this really effective, though, was that people in the train station could pose in front of that structure. And if they uploaded that photo to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag TWD February 10, they were entered into a contest to win one of the fingers. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't all need billboards in Times Square or severed limbs to do effective marketing. <laughs> Social media has created a medium that is great for the hospitality industry. The hospitality industry is in a very unique position in that we are in the business of selling experiences. And social media is a medium that is larger, 
more dynamic, and more interactive than anything we've ever seen before. And this medium is all about sharing experiences. We really should take advantage of this, because our guests certainly are. I went through my friends' Facebook pages, and I pulled some photos. This is from Oregon. This is from Quebec. This is Bali. And this is Hong Kong. I just went to my friends' Facebook pages and took pictures from their vacations. So you see, our guests are sharing. This last photo is a photo that I took at the 25 Hours Hotel in Vienna, where I stayed over New Year's. I took this photo and I uploaded it to my social media sites. And I said that I was really creeped out by that clown. And how do they expect me to sleep at night? I actually got a response later saying that I could have requested a room without clowns. So I will remember that for next time. Non-smoking, non-clown. <laughs> When we think about social media, we need to think, are we having as much fun with it as our guests are? But furthermore, we need to think about how we can track or how we can harness that. In marketing, and not just for hospitality, but for any business, we always want to drive more traffic to our websites, because then more people can see what we have to offer and possibly book a room or buy whatever it is we're selling. And one way we drive traffic is through search engine optimization. If you're not familiar with this term, all it is is ways that we make sure that our websites appear at the top of sites such as Google or Bing or Yahoo, so that we're easy to find for our customers. If our websites are easy to find, they're more likely to go to them. <coughs> Social media experts will tell you that right now, what is happening, and this is evident by the launch of Facebook graph search, it's that user reviews and what customers are saying is the next generation of search engine optimization. There are many companies out there right now that can gauge the power of your brand based on how engaging you are on social media. What is really going to change the game, though, is when user content is searchable. Your hotel, your company, anything that you want to be found on search engines is going to be easier to find thanks to how many people are talking about you, and most importantly, what they have to say. The United Nations estimates that over one billion people will travel this year. Facebook estimates that three-quarters of travelers will upload photos of their vacations to some type of social media network. When you take those figures and combine it with what I just said about search engine optimization and user reviews, you can see that it's more important now than ever that we take advantage of what our guests are saying. We can have our guests help us tell the stories that we want other potential guests to know. And it's really easy to do this with things like hashtags and check-ins, links or pings back to our website. Because with these tools, word of mouth is now measurable. So all I'm saying is our guests are sharing. They are out there telling their friends and their networks where they are, what they're doing, how many insects they've eaten at TEDx EHL. And they're also saying, what they love about our hotels, and what's cool about our hotels that other people should know. So we should let our guests be our marketers, because they're already doing it. With their help, we can do marketing that is simple, engaging, interactive, and most importantly, fun. Thank you. <laughs>